another episode of Talk of the Town. This is now episode 10. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Talk of the Town Talk Show. Right, and What's up, it's your boy Stizzy Stalks, DJ Stalks, whatever you want to call me. You know what I'm saying? I'm here rocking out. You can follow me on my Instagram, my social media, all that. Same thing, at The Real, DJ S T A R K S. And if you're ever in New York City and you wanted some good food, some good soul food, you can stop by Rosh Del Chicken and Fish. All right, that's 118 29 Gabriel Boulevard, Jamaica, New York. And you can follow us on social media also at Rosh Del Chicken and Fish. Upcoming and mainstream. So <laughs> let's say a prayer. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a good one. I'll say this right now. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah go I ahead. Start, 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 start. 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 Okay. Start. Okay. This is real not change. So um <laughs> what do you think the difference is between mainstream and upcoming? We're gonna start over here and work our way down. So what you think? Don't do that. Like we the problem. <laughs> 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 no. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna start over here. I'm gonna start arguing. We not. Know. We not. Not today. I burn sage. Uh, okay, so say the question one more time. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, come on, come on. All right. So, what's the difference between mainstream and upcoming to you? Because I feel like everybody has their own. Mm-hmm. And being a DJ, you definitely have your a very specific. Yeah. Um, and an artist too. Yeah. So, like when you when you upcoming, um, it's way more harder. First of all. Um, you know, you have to put in a lot of work. Um, people tend to not pay attention to you, even if you're dope. Um, you know, for instance, like I just said, even with the verification, you know, I would be, I would more so be looked on as a mainstream artist DJ now, opposed to before. And, um, just like suddenly, as soon as you get the check, it's like, okay, yeah, we rocking with him now. You get what I'm saying? Like I have, and my followers has just got crazy out of nowhere. So, you know, normally when that happens, when you become mainstream, you become way more successful. Um, but then I do think that when most artists or even DJs, whatever, um, they become, when they get mainstream, they uh, begin to slack a bit and not as hungry as what they once was. You get what I'm saying? When you want to come up, it's just a different, feeling that you have, you know what I'm saying? It's a different grind and different beast that comes out so of you. So what makes an artist mainstream and what makes them up and coming? Um, well, <laughs> numbers, <laughs> numbers. Numbers. Numbers, I can say, I can say numbers. Um, I can say, uh, yeah, most definitely, like like the, the numbers. If you, Dreams. yeah, if you, if you upcoming, it's, you know, it's very. See, this is where we get crazy at because, like, upcoming people be <laughs> uh-huh. getting numbers too, mm-hmm. but they just upcoming, like you know. So, I so, don't know. so, what's the difference between for you? Like, I was, <laughs> 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 well, I was just gonna say, like, I feel like for mainstream, like, it's like if you done made enough to wait, if you went to stop doing music today or whatever you was doing, you could eat off all the money you made. When I think of mainstream, like me, Drake. <laughs> But up and coming, they only okay. So, who would be all right? So, who would be up and coming to you guys? Who would be up and coming? Tell me, mm. why y'all thinking? <laughs> it's mad artists you can name right now, mad people, but I'm trying to think of people that's like well known upcoming. That's because it's like fair. it's mad Brooklyn artists that's upcoming, but like a well upcoming JR, yeah, JR, you know, that's the Prince of New York, the JR boy. Okay. See, like he calls himself the person. Yeah, like he calls himself the person. <laughs> um, I would say Tutu Jesus upcoming. I would say um Smooth L yeah. He, smooth L. He's, see people part you don't even But see that's know. the thing, he, that's only one song. And yeah, we already like, saying he up and coming. Savannah Hannah. Savannah like, Hannah, that was mm-hmm. a regular flow. Yeah. See it's because like yeah. Cash Sinatra. Uh like what's a perfect example of up and coming? Like Fabio was just up and coming to us. He still is. I don't okay. know. Okay. That's the artist that's the artist we argue about because he feel yeah, like he's smoke. he's mainstream. Yeah, Possible, yeah, Jay Critch, Two well, Two G's. At this point, see because I work with a lot of these artists prior to their success. So I've worked with Fabio for years before. You get what I'm saying? When he was um, up and coming. Right. I don't consider him up and coming anymore. Why? I consider him a mainstream he's artist. Serious. Why? Yeah, because I remember when I was just, you know, breaking his record. I just was breaking his record in freaking, what was it, in the beginning of September. Um, My boy had a birthday party and um, he performed. And nobody really knew the records. They didn't know he had two cars, he had a big trip, he had a a few of these records. And now I say like two, three weeks later, 
the you know he's traveling the world now and then people you know everywhere you go you hear any songs blasting out people radio so to me that's not upcoming anymore yeah but it's still one song that's why we kind of say like it's upcoming because he is we're waiting for the follow-up like you have to keep yourself relevant that's why i say he's still upcoming because you could drop one hit cool and then you could be forgot about you know so that's why i say he kind of like still but he's gonna still always even Not if he's got, yeah, so he's gonna always be a mainstream artist. Always be noticed. I guess. Like he w- w- or right, James you get what I'm saying? Like and that's another that's another artist that I worked with from like zero. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? And then I watched him just just go crazy, and you know now even with that one song Panda, that that's his most notable record. He's yeah. still a mainstream artist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think <clears throat> what when we first had this conversation, what a problem was is. Just like Stark said, he was with these artists when no one knew them. Like, right. before they even were confident in who they were, I'm assuming, right? Right. So, for him to say, this person isn't upcoming now, be, it makes sense. He's was, He was there. He was there for the yeah. upcoming. Yeah. He was there for the, for the sprout. Right. But when it comes to, like, you know, people like me who really are yeah. now getting into this stuff, they haven't come for me because I literally just heard the track two months ago. I don't care. <laughs> You're not mainstream. You can't be mainstream for me because I just yeah, heard Yeah, like you. people that just got onto it. So, I feel like it's subjective. It is subjective, it but, there's, on, but it depends on the, the, the crowd that you're around, though. So what happens when these guys, are, their records are being placed in these different um, in these different playlists and stuff like that, these mainstream undeniable, playlists? Undeniable. Undeniable. You, I cannot sit here and say that you're not, you're not mainstream. That's crazy. Max the Demon was just on the Apple Music playlist. He's he's mainstream now? He's definitely upcoming. So. Yeah, I won't even say that. <laughs> right, yeah. And I know him. That's the white boy, right? Yeah. Right. He was just in a playlist. Uh-huh. Was it the same one song that we did? Four quarters, yes. <laughs> what, what, um, what was he in? What, what playlist was it? It was like new music mix. Yeah, like the hottest new music right now. No. Hot new music means you're definitely up and coming. See, what the hell, bro? Like, you always it's change the like, guidelines. It's literally hot new music. Yeah, it's like Apple Music has a thing where it's like the hot new music on But it's Apple. an Apple right. playlist. Because like, didn't they change, did they recently change the names of them? Because yeah. it was, mm-hmm. because I go on my Apple Music, it used to be, um like now I think it's Rap Life or something like that's the main one. Or oh, something like, it depends, it actually, oh. Apple curates everything that you bought, that you listen to and even the playlist titles to you. So. They had a, I remember they had a, a, um, a playlist for like basically up and coming mm-hmm. artists that's doing their thing. Just like, um, Spotify, they have yeah. like um, what do they have? Uh, rap caviar. Right. So and all of that. Like, we love I'm, rap caviar. Here's my thing. The reason yeah. I still say that because I have a friend, I have a couple of friends actually who have made it to these playlists, Spotify yeah. playlists, but mm-hmm. these are up and coming artists though. But see, I feel like <clears throat> then where do we see the transition? You yeah. just said that if they're on a playlist, then yeah, it's but lit. Being on, the, <laughs> being on the hot new music playlist. Is oh, so now the playlist matters. But oh, it, the playlist is God. literally full of people well, who are like they said, it's like a whole but bunch of But it would, no, it'd be now, like so NLE Chopper. It'd be yeah. hot, new, hot music. It don't necessarily, not all the artists <laughs> be <laughs> underground. It'd be some people that just drop some shit. NBA Youngboy be on there. Yeah. Now, let's say... (laughs) 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 Alright, so see, the reason I say that is because there are playlists with songs. And it's like, okay, all these songs are from artists that... These are singles from artists who've been out. You know what I'm saying? They have playlists like that. Now, let Max Demon be in one of those playlists. Yeah. We're going to have a different conversation. Okay. Let Max Demon be in in the top songs of of September. We gonna have a different conversation. Mm-hmm. You not up and coming if you have the time. Yeah, that's mainstream to me. <laughs> that's yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But if you're in a playlist with like when it's mixed with people yeah. that's you um, know that's, that's upcoming, upcoming and like, you, you're not gonna, no one's ever gonna listen to a place of pure up and coming. Right. Because you don't exactly. know anybody playing. <laughs> right. So they're gonna definitely like <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah. And NLE Chop is not a good person to say <laughs> was in a mix wow. with Max the Demon. Like, come on, he's part of the new... We just agreed that rap is in the dark ages and you're going to bring up NLE Chopper. I like uh, NLE Chopper. Yeah, I like him too. <laughs> All right, so we asked our audience, four artists, um, so we asked our audience, is Jay Critch upcoming or mainstream? And 38% said upcoming. Hmm. So do you guys think Jay Critch upcoming or mainstream? I feel like he's upcoming, mm. personally. Um, he's from Brooklyn. Never met him a day in my life. Never saw him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I've never seen him. I know people that that you know. I've know of people that that be with him or whatever the case. I've never you know. Um, he probably had one record that I played in the club. Which one was that? 
I can't, I can't even remember. Search Montana? No, it was it was it was one one of those like Brooklyn records where they used to do a little dance or whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I can't remember exactly what it was, but um. It might be Katie. Yeah, he's. I, yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember. The only reason I say Jake Cricks is kind of mainstream is because his features. He got French Montana, that like kind of Brooklyn, up like well French Montana not from Brooklyn, but. Artists is like working with him. But anybody could get a could get a, a feature though. Mm-hmm. I could get a feature. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 anybody can. And Jay Chris numbers on YouTube be crazy. Yeah, but where's the single? Ego was his last single that flicked. How did it? Yeah, like where people. Okay, so when I think of a single, when I think of somebody like successful, that's what I always tell people. Um, you you you're gonna hear this record. Forever. You're gonna hear it blasting out of people's apartment buildings. Exactly. You're gonna hear it out the Uber. You're gonna hear it. Um, you get them. You're gonna hear it in the club. You're gonna hear it on radio. You're gonna hear it different places. Um, you know, artists think that you have to do so much to get notoriety. It's really not that. You just have to have the people rocking with your stuff. You get what I'm saying? So I don't see everybody rocking with yeah. a Jay Critch, or for that matter, I don't. You, you name French Montana. French was another artist that I was with from early stages. I don't hear nobody rocking French. You get what I'm like, saying? French is mainstream. He is, but yeah, as yeah. you know, I'm not saying that he's not. not yeah. But as yeah. far as like relevancy, okay. like yeah. who's listening to French right now? Nah. I'm just saying. Nothing wrong. French and French is my boy. You know what I'm saying? That's my guy. But see, you know, in, we're in an age where it's like an artist can drop one record and be the most relevant thing moving. And okay. still be up and coming. That Smooth L song is everywhere. But that come on, he, he just dropped them. He's a, exactly, I, I but it's everywhere. Like it. like, those, are those are the future. These are the kids that's going to be streaming, buying, all that. Those are the kids that's doing it. They the ones that's going to be, Mommy, Daddy, this person's performing. Can you yeah. buy this package deal with this meet and greet? It's $50. <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm trying to get this $75 shirt. Like, that's what I'm doing myself. Now, it's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Jay Critch is up and coming because he move up and coming. We all about to say, ah, so we doing a little right. shit. You don't leave that. me around, yeah. fly shit with Rich the Kid. Never saw that sorry, guy, sorry, never. Like. So, upcoming, upcoming. Yeah, remember that gap we spoke about between upcoming and mainstream? Mm-hmm. Is that that final push out of the upcoming? Yeah. That he you just, need, yeah, he just need that one record. Mm-hmm. That one record. All right, so 147 Cowboy, 58% said mainstream, 42% said upcoming. I'm saying that, that he's probably a big deal to us, but in his, in his, where he from, you know what I'm saying? People were like, oh yeah, he regular. But see, he do that's a big deal to us. Yeah. That's a problem. Jay Chris from Brooklyn, yeah, exactly. But somebody but else. Like see, but he does have a really big record that I play, <laughs> yeah. and and, and I don't necessarily. Yeah. And I'm gonna be honest with you, like I don't. I like certain kind of music. That's not my style of music that I would listen to. I'm not saying that it's whack, but I just don't listen to it. Me you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, like, you know, it's it's cool. It's cool. It's not not cool. the way that the crowd react to it. Like, the crowd is like, oh! Like, this shit is like the hottest thing they ever heard in their life. I'm like, okay, well, if you like it, I love it. You get what I'm saying? I got to play it because this is what you guys like. You know what I mean? So, I can literally play that song anywhere and it gets a reaction. So, I'm going to go with the mainstream. Personally. Well, yeah, because he's seen the whole yeah, different Yeah, he's seen the whole different energy. Yeah, so. Okay, that's fair. Club. I'm only saying up and coming because I, I only heard of um, 147 oh, once, and I heard the song once. Okay. So, I'm, I am part of the, what was it, 2%? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it was. Uh, that's why I went outside this weekend. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was Jesus, this weekend. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know much of his music, but I do know a female walked up to me the um like a couple weeks ago. I was DJing and Katra, and she was like, "Yo, you got more of his." I'm like, "I'm be honest, baby, I only got this one record." <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, you know. Oh, he from Philly? Unjudged money bag. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Like, give me his discovery. Yeah, he, got, he got a lot of features, like you said. Features, but um, I don't say he's he is. Yeah, I feel like when he. No, when he what? When he what? When he what? <laughs> when he what? When he what? Under Meek is like, oh, okay, that's what? Fair, that's fair. When he went that's song fair. under Meek, so now it's like everybody saying he's to Meek, and he's just like, oh. as it should be. So that's a good thing or a bad thing? I feel like that he didn't pop. Like he he popped, but he could have popped a little bit more. It was, like it was real fast. 
working. He's working, yeah. Like he deserve it. And you see how we are? We just want hits after hits after hits. Like, that just takes time. That's the problem, problem, bro. Like, what would you consider Lil Snoop? That's the guy that that got killed, right? He could have been mainstream. Yeah, he could have been mainstream. Like, I'm going to tell you why. Because off the strength of just... People don't even have... People who haven't heard his music before just heard his freestyles and like, yo, I will listen to anything you drop. See what I'm saying? So... And look, we don't... He's not even here. He never really even dropped anything like that. And we know who he is. So... You know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> but this, that's what she That's said. what I'm saying. Exactly. That's why I said it. Technically. All right. Pop Smoke. 45% set upcoming. 54% set upcoming. And, and see, damn. this is where the conversation went. Ooh, damn. <laughs> Matter of fact, I did, when you, someone texted me that, the, these, um, these results. Yeah. Right, and I looked at that, and I was like, whoa. I was like, there were only like six people. <laughs> That's in the room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, so, um, oh, how I don't so, know. I'm going to say, say this. We, we, already, we already spoke about what makes up mainstream artists. And if touring in the UK with one of their top stunners is not mainstream, right? <laughs> the conversation does not need to be had. Yeah. And he's not touring know. with somebody that you don't know. Like we all know Skepta. He's we featured all on know. Drake's album. Yeah, Skepta's a big. Yeah. Why even being featured on Drake's album just by himself? By himself. He That's Pop Smoke he also has great management. Okay. Boom. He had a record. His manager was able to. Push him in a way, and Skepta remix "Welcome to the Party." So it was also a, a little bit of Nikki. Nikki remixed it as well, right? Yeah, yeah but she's yeah. not going on. I feel like he's on that tour because Skepta likes pop smoke. And every 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 beat that they rap over, yeah, that is sounds, a UK is beat. A, Their right. prime beats just made for New York. But isn't but okay? So correct me if I'm wrong because Nikki is another artist that I was with from the beginning, <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm watching. Um, you know, I, I did a party last week, and they went crazy. Like, yo, you gotta play the Nikki verse. You gotta play the Nikki verse. I was like, all right, cool, no problem. Like, I'm gonna play the Nikki verse. But um, she's a mainstream artist to me. So if to all of us, to all right, of us, you know, so I hope, you know, I hope if. To the <laughs> If that if if she got on that record, I you know, I would I would, I would I, I would couldn't. Yeah. yeah. Actually, but then that goes like you just said yeah. people can get featured, so it's like. Oh. And also. Uh, but Nikki don't do just. Yeah, that's people. what I'm saying. Like yeah, like yeah, Nikki is Nikki is not just. That yeah. was during the same time that Cardi was co-signing the record, and then Nikki popped out. Oh, we're gonna this. I'm oh. not. I'm but, not she, but, but she but she but she still but she still but she still not gonna just jump on anything, for a fact. Yeah. For a fact. That made her look good. I feel like that was his hand washing hers and her hand. Yeah. Most definitely. But she's still not going to jump on anything. Yeah, you know how you, how, how <laughs> what you're saying is a fact. Carol G and Nicki Minaj dropped a little Spanish drone like a week or a tour ago. Fire. It is fire. That's <laughs> dead fire. Like, she's not just hopping on anything. Right. Like, I'm so it got to be lit. Though. It got to yeah. be yeah. unofficial to her as well. Hell yeah. And, and, and that it was. Unofficial as hell. So when so let's let's bring it back a few years when um, Kendrick Lamar he had what song was that that Jay Z jumped on? I am a sinner. The yeah. swim what was the swim pools? Swim pools remix. That was the first record that oh, I ever that heard was of, bitch of him. Don't kill my vibe. Sorry. It oh, it was Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe remix. Oh, swim pools did have remix. Had an extended version. I apologize. Right. So before that record, I would say he was more so upcoming. Who? Um, wait, wait, wait. To me. The man is not lying. But then when... Do, when do, how many Kendrick albums do we all hear know? <laughs> not I, know the, I know most of them. I remember from K-Dot, C4 Days. So like, Section 80? Nope. So boom. He was upcoming. That is fair to say that he was upcoming when he dropped um, that song. Because that was his... That was that album was the album that put him out. So that yeah. Jay-Z feature made... Crossed him over? Is that what we're about to say? You remember how I said there was a there was a gap between our <laughs> so features can determine if you're from a certain this, from this from certain artists. Like, <laughs> this is why I said Jay Fish is mainstream because French did French cross him over? No, you got leaky but, bands with features from NBA Youngboy. NBA Youngboy. What did they do with the momentum? Right, that's what I'm saying. Like momentum, literally, he was 
Section 80 was a yeah, masterpiece. Was my, my Good Kid, Mad City, from the, the, the remix wasn't on the original tape. Mm-hmm. tape. It was on the deluxe. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then from there, he was just dropping fire your after fire okay. your. So you kept it up, kept it up. Yeah. Like, and, y'all and, think Pop's gonna keep it up? You just drop one tape. I'm kind of, I'm waiting for some new music from Pop's. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's eating. You heard fire in the booth. You ain't hear that freestyle? Yeah. That freestyle was tough. I that's that. that freestyle was I tough, bro. I don't care if you making money. I want content. I'm that a fan. Content. I'm not content. No, I want, I want another tape. I want to play a song. Bro, Drake gonna do that shit? Regardless of what, how big Drake is, Drake does that, and that is... People will play that back like it's it's gonna get Drake money. I'm all for the freestyles, streams. but Drake would also say in a freestyle like I'm working on the album. These these niggas don't be saying nothing like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 waiting for more more music from him as well. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, I am. You know, I, I had a Wait. I had a debate on okay. Facebook with somebody probably a couple weeks ago about they said that he was the new Fifty Cent. Yes. No, he is not. He's oh, sad. Like no. no, That's the only reason why I say it. Because I was ready for this one. If you, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Only reason I'm saying is but th- but this guy but th- this the guy that I was debating with he was saying the total opposite oh he you know I guess the bulletproof vest or whatever he's like yo he's Cause moving like fifty da 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 you know. know. Because yeah, Fifty said, even though Fifty was a gangster, he was like the positive influence. <laughs> but to to me, and I and I always I always have these conversations about Fifty. I had another con- big debate yesterday about Fifty, and I'm always like I advocate for him because I love you know I always loved his music yeah, from yeah. you know from a kid, um, you know, and he's been out for a very long time, from Power of a Dollar to you know to his mixtape yeah. days when he was remixing he was to Get Rich or Die Trying. You get what I'm saying? He was going hard, hard retarded. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. So even Massacre, like that to me is a classic album. To yeah, me. That's that shit was fire. Yeah, Richard that time is a classic. That, that is the classic. That is the classic. <laughs> but you know, uh, I don't think he gets enough credit for the Massacre. Massacre was like it's a, sonically everything. It was just it was the best beautiful. follow up for a, a, a for, for a classic. Exactly. It was the best way to follow up. Especially the fact that with Get Rich or Die Trying, you know, most of the most of that album, he was more so like on the street side. Mm-hmm. He still gave you one or two. He gave you the Twenty One Questions and the PIMP, or whatever the case may be. But then, like when he came up with the Massacre, that's when I was like, I, I really rock with this guy because he knew how, you know, he made he had the Baltimore Love thing, um, you know, he had uh, God's so God's Grace. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Just these different records. So when somebody compare a Pop Smoke to this guy, I'm like, hell no. And I'm ready to go 24 hours with you and, and <laughs> back and forth Yo, because you, get kicked off the streets, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like nah, it, you know. So, right, right. but yeah, I it sounds like him. Can we just? <laughs> <not> just <laughs> 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 sounds like 50, but he is, is not. not 50. We do not have. A, we do not have a 50. 50 is our 50. Music. Right. <laughs> right. We don't have another Michael Jackson. We don't have another 50. It's like, not, it's not another right. It's like, impossible. There would never be That's another pop. Bang, bang, bang. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just certain people. It would never be another, a lot of. I'm, I'm, there's no, there's no, you can't get another J. You can't get another Y. You can't yeah. get another B. It's not happening. Another Wheezy. So. Work. It's not happening. It's not. I think Pasmo going on tour. I feel like, again, it's something to make the public believe, like, Oh, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm. You could drop music on tour. So if yeah. he don't drop it's nothing, harder, when he's, on, it doesn't matter. You and his bring, content is literally, I bet. Let me go to the hood one day. Every other day, he's right. supposed to flick in the studio. He better have to be with back. all these people. Yeah. He be with people all the time. So the collabs. I'm not hearing anything. I'm not hearing no snippets. I, I don't know what's going on. Wait, wait. I thought he was gonna drop thirty. <laughs> controversy behind that. I don't well, know. Bimo drop it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> So I just choose not to speak on it. Good job. Bruce. That's all. I'm proud. <laughs> right, so Green Pop Smoke is upcoming main. Nah, Pop upcoming still. <sighs> I'm, I'm still, I'm still on main, bro. I'm, I'm still on main. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with main. Yeah. I'm gonna definitely go with main. I want to hear new music. I want to hear some more. You know, most definitely. But I'm gonna definitely go with that. And Here's an interesting take. Victor, sorry. Shout out to Steve. Yeah. Ah, you see? There it's you go. 
Yeah. Somebody who just became mainstream can still fall back into the up and coming. Hell like, no. Yes, you can. How? You it just you won't be considered up and coming, but because the same once again that momentum, you're not mm. running with it. You can fall right back into the right. same mindset of like, all right, now I have to eat. Uh, I have to. I need to find Work the same harder again. Yeah. Well, I, I agree because they're they're A class artists, B class artists, yeah. C class. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So at one point, and Fab is my boy. At one point, he was considered an A class artist. S class. But, you know what I'm saying? Now, he's not so much. He's more of a B-class. You get what I'm saying? Mano, that's another one of my guys. You know what I'm saying? He was definitely doing his thing at one point. You know, he um had some, he had a a, 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 chop, a top-rated record, right? Um, yeah, The um, joint with T-Pain. Or he had all the, all of the above. All of the above. That was like a real that big record for him. That was a real big record for him. You get what I'm saying? But now, he we consider like a B-C-class artist. So, you can go back... Fab right. doesn't. That Fab doesn't. Know. Fab doesn't music. drop any music. Yeah, he don't drop music. And when like, are you pushed into that like super sanctioned? Because I feel like Fab is an artist for me. Like he's kind of untouchable. He is untouchable. Like he's hip hop royalty. Music. Yeah. We're from New York, so he's untouchable for us. I guess he's hip hop royalty to me. Like Fab could never drop something ever again, and I'd still be like Fab. But here's the thing about royalties: there's kings, queens, dukes, um, duchesses, <laughs> and all of that. <laughs> Fab was once a king. Right. He may now just be a high lord and <laughs> a, a duke or a nobleman. It's, it's, okay. It's, it's, it's okay. It's it's true. At the end of the day, you know, you know how, the, how, the, how, the, how the, um, those, those systems worked out. Noblemen's were still untouchable. You mess with them like you had you had to pay. You feel me? And especially, you know, like <laughs> he's like really Fab is really in tune with what's going on. So very in super tune. Relevant. Super in tune. Now, you know, he just recent he just recently posted that he's gonna drop summertime shootout three. Right. And people have been, like, I, I'm always on his page. So people have been asking for a project for yeah, years yeah. now. <laughs> like, <laughs> they've been asking for years. Like, yo, so when are we going to get an album? Uh, when are we going to get another soul tape? When are we going to get a? And he doesn't, you know, he never really responds. So, like, one day I hit him and I was listening to, um, I think it was, uh, <laughs> Uh, ah, bah, bah, the shit off the low soul way. Um, the, the last record, what was it? Um, was my love, my, my love. love. I, I believe it was. Same tape, but everything with, with Carrie Hilson on it. I mean, Carrie Hilson, yeah, every everything, everything, everything. Was it? It was. It was the same. Um. It was thrown in the back. That 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 that, that, that album. Okay. That yeah. album. Ooh. Yeah. So I hit him, and I was just like, yo. Yo, we need um. I think I said, yo, we need like a part two to this because it was more so like a Tony story type of vibe. Way was yeah. definitely supposed to have a part two. You were right. Late. You know what I'm saying? So and then he he hit me back like, Shh, like, like I'm like I'm working like I'm like I'm gonna give it to you guys or whatever the case. And this was like three years ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I still haven't heard anything. Oh, say you know what I'm saying? So so um you know at the end of the day, he is royalty. He is these things that we speak of, but. If you're not dropping anything like you do, and, it, and and if you're still relevant and you're in tune with what's going on, it's not like you fell off the face of the earth. Like nobody sees you. We see you every day. You know what I'm saying? You fresh to death. You know what I mean? Now you got your girl all on Instagram, whatever the case may be. Because 50, 50 has got power. power. 50 has made business ventures the moment he decided he wanted to stop rapping. And he will never have to rap again. Exactly. That's fine. He's, he's doing other but things. But here's the thing, though. Uh, 50 Cent, he has, it, it, we can't even say, oh, he's A, B, C in music. We got to yeah. say, star-wise, like, he's just, wise, he's A. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just, a. he's... He, he stirred everybody pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's steadily in This is facts. And he knows what and he's doing. That's why there will never be another 50. Like... Well, yeah. There, there's never been no one, and that was a part of my debate yesterday. There's never been no one who came in the game and just blatantly came at everybody. And, and literally, just untouchable because. Six, but see, he was not. Well, untouchable. that was the epic nah. fail. He epic was, fail. He was close on him though. The rapper that y'all like, well, he was close on him. First of all, first of all, he was close on him. He didn't regret it. He said that in interviews all the time. How about we? How about we literally say why he close on him? 50 Cent understood that in the time where rap is so feeble, if mm -hmm. somebody is claiming that they're the king of New York, mm -hmm. I am somebody who has been in, on, in the, on the throne. I'm going to just be like, all right, bro, facts, yeah. Let them ride with that momentum. Let them keep creating. Don't be, the, don't be somebody's idol and shit on them. 
And it was pretty smart in, in my in my eyes for for fifty. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, everybody was rocking with him. You know, I never met the guy a day in my life, but I rocked with him because he was with people that I knew. So I or I assumed that he was real right. I thought he was. You know, I thought he was. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm like, bro, there's no other Spanish people in your videos but you. you there's no way you could but you. And he had the town. He had he had the town. I can I can say he definitely had the that town. Had the so that. yeah, like everywhere I everywhere I went, like if I didn't play a six nine record, like I remember going to like the most gangster party. It was like yo yo you gotta play some six nine. I'm like damn bro, like it's it's, it's not even two o'clock yet. <laughs> like yo he ain't play no six nine, so tell him to play some six nine. I'm like alright. <laughs> yeah, dead ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, the last one, two two G's. Sixty seven percent said upcoming. Thirty three percent said main street. He sucked his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, man. Talk to him. Well, yeah. well, upcoming. Nah, that kid is definitely upcoming. Oh, I definitely. Know. Nah, 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 nah. Not 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 with this one, no. No way. He's in a Jay Kirchner. Not even. Yo, I feel like Kodak in jail is a setback. Yeah, most definitely. Really? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, he was, like, okay, I booked him at a club before, you know? Like, I book a lot of upcoming artists because that's just what I do. Um, you know, right, and we from Brooklyn, so I'm like, all right, cool, I give him. But he never, I've never heard a single. I haven't heard, you know, it was, it's like nothing notable, you know what I mean, from this guy. At, yeah, like two, right? When you okay. say single, what do you mean? Like a, a hit? A joint. <laughs> like, uh, you know what I mean? A joint. And Suburban was cool, but Chef G, no, Suburban was bigger than that. It was yeah, most that definitely. Most definitely. That's how he got. I, I, I learned about him from No Suburban. I played his record. And, and a lot of times what I tend to do if I come across an re uh, artist or record I, I like the record myself, and then at the times it was strip clubs. So strip clubs is easy to just throw anybody record in the rotation and see the reaction. And the reaction for No Suburbans was crazy. I was like, oh wow, this kid is actually, you know, he he got one. And I was, you know, doing like these crit parties and all these places, and like these, yeah, <laughs> we're like going crazy. So um, you know, and then I was trying the Two Two G's records, and they weren't hitting. Like it just wasn't hitting. And then, you know we. We in Brooklyn still, you know, yeah, so you would, so, see what I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> look at, oh, what I say, girl? I don't know. What I say, girl? I feel like, I feel like it's, <laughs> it was, it's the times, man. Like, yeah. it's the times, like, Crips is winning right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I not just to say it like that, I listen to everybody, but. That, a lot of people, I feel like that's kind of like the silent voice in the industry as well. Like, who is the industry rocking with, you know what I'm saying? Casanova came out, he was blood. Everybody knew that. He ate mess. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the Crip rappers, like, we're not going to sit here in front like mad Crip niggas is not getting on. No, and, definitely. And, and, and the niggas that like the tutus, they're not really being heard. And that does, that's not to say they're not making no noise, but that's not who the industry wanna, is fucking with right now. It's like when Lil Wayne came out, well, everybody was blood. But, you know what I'm saying? Then somebody else came. It's, it's waves. So I feel like, of course, no suburban go hit over suburban. That was a blatant. Gang war, like you spinning both records, you know what I'm saying? That that was that was one side, literally versus another side. So whatever crowd you play it for, they're gonna fuck with the side that they hit. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter, cause I, I like both. I like suburban a lot, yeah. but I feel like <laughs> whatever, bro. But I, I, don't, I feel like it's a crowd. But I, but I, I feel like the masses the masses don't rock with him though. The Ooh. masses two two G's they don't. You know what I'm saying? He has more of. I know him for having more of um, notoriety from being in jail in Miami. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's how most people knew about him. Like, oh, he beat a murder charge or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? So uh, as far as him as an artist, like nobody, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it has nothing to do with blood, crip, or folk at that, you know, in that particular uh, instance. Um, I just feel like, you know, if... When 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 motherfuckers like your music, they like your music. Yeah. No matter what you are, you could be, Six, you know what I'm saying. You could be whatever. You know what I mean. So um, I don't know. I I I I watch his page now, 
and I saw when Kodak was out, you know, he was doing the, um, the big festivals and all these different things. And I was sitting there wondering, like, well, how the hell did he really even get on these big stages? Because, you know, it wasn't like, it's not, you know, and I'm a DJ. So if if it's rocking, I'm going to know about it. You know what I mean? And and it wasn't. And um, now that he's in jail, yeah, it's crickets. It's, okay, it's crickets. Not on the music to me but just the bookings you know what i'm saying i saw something where he was trying to give away turkeys at a, at a school recently and the, the police came to the school and told the principal he cannot give away the turkey well they've been school. doing that to everybody and they're just rolling around no they, they haven't that's the thing they have not been doing it to they everybody have. Chef, no. matter, chef, matter, chef, chef, they have no chef there's literally a list all right look look fabio just had a show in brooklyn just got canceled there's a list Nova show's been getting canceled for like probably like two months now. Are we talking about gangs straight? All right, I this is what I'm saying. There's a list of people that's black. Exactly I feel like it's not happening to everybody. Like Pop Smoke is about to go overseas and tour. Nobody's saying nothing. They're not interfering with that. Nobody, He's the untouchable crip right that's now. That's what I'm saying. There, there's a <laughs> list of people that are literally blackballed. <laughs> Casanova shows are getting canceled. I'm not saying he's blackballed. I'm not saying anybody's blackballed, but there's definitely a hit list right now. I feel like in hip hop, there's like well, you yeah, maneuver and that's especially here. Because of these, because of the the way that they well, portray like themselves, stories, yeah. you get what I'm saying. And and you know, first and foremost, these guys they go on social media and they blatantly put out that they don't like this person and they want to kill this person, and this, that, and the third. And you know, you, you have a whole uh, you have a whole division of police who sits there and watch Black these young, things, young. who listen to these music, you know what I'm saying? You have these police who go to the same parties we go to that see what's going on, that's listen to the same music. So why would they allow them? You get what I'm saying? Like when when I saw the Road and Loud, um, when I saw the, the rollout, and I saw two two G's, and then I saw fucking Chef G, and then a lot of conflicting names on that. You know, and then online everybody is like, oh, they hating, they hating, and I'm saying to myself like, you know, I didn't want to go touch the topic on online because it's kind of sensitive, but I'm like, yo, they actually probably just saved so many lives by fucking doing that. You get what I'm saying? Because we did said that too. Like, yeah, we said that too. even if it's not them. The people that they're bringing to the two of them right. are literally going to probably somebody probably would have died. Mm -hmm. Somebody probably would have died. You get what I'm saying, or something would have happened. And I think that it was way more smart for them to not allow these artists on there. I'm surprised that Fabio was able to perform. I'm very surprised because he is woo. You get what I'm saying, and um, um he wasn't specifically on the lineup. I think somebody brought him out. But somebody brought him out both days though. Right, and a lot of times they don't. They watch that too. So if they see you in the, even in the vicinity, maybe he got lucky. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just surprised that he was able to to get on because you know a lot of a lot of a lot of times these guys um you know they they really they dead ass want to kill each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um I would hope that they I'm I'm hoping that they eventually stop and put it to the side. But I think at this point. It it's too happen. way too deep, you know what I'm saying? Like it's really high hopes, you know. I'm just saying it just to put it out there. But um, yeah, and and this is why I don't necessarily attach my name to certain artists and certain shit because, you know, you that comes right, you do all of this stuff, and 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 not only that, you do all of this work and you bringing this guy to these different stations and putting in the groundwork, and then for him to just get blackballed because of you know uh his his past or stuff like that so i really personally i screen my artists if i'm before i rock with you i have to screen you and and see like who you rocking with if you got beef with anybody this and the third because it's a waste of time I, you know i have a whole kid i ain't got time for that you know what i'm saying like i could be spending time with my son before i waste time with you you know so yeah, that's actually fair <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that is the mainstream upcoming and last week we had okay so last week we did a poll um which who is a better rapper chef g or sleepy hollow 73 percent said sleepy and 27 percent said chef g damn <laughs> damn 20 said 27 chef? said chef is a better rapper 73 percent said sleepy is a better rapper they said chef just got that it factor Sleepy is the better artist. Oh, that's what I was saying. There's a lot in the comments. Yo, I love uh, the streets because everybody's <laughs> turned into an A&R. <laughs> Yo. Like, he got the it back. <laughs> 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 Who's the better rapper? We're not talking about oh, shit. if I had a million dollars, I'd be the 
dollars I'd invest in strategy. <laughs> like, you don't know, nigga. <laughs> Who's a better rapper? What is the it factor? Damn, what does Shaq have that Sleepy don't? They kind of look alike to me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same. Like they they kind of sound the same yeah. and everything. Yeah. Like, That's how this is. I don't even. Right. Say, <laughs> I say both. I think they both. I think they complement each other. Yeah, honestly. Don't they have a song yeah. that's drunk? The Breaking Bad. Like, that's what I love that song too. Exactly. Like, exactly. I'm thinking. Slim Jim? Yeah. No, one is. No. <laughs> 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 Slim Jim and Slim Jim. But they help each other, though. Like, they, they, no, they yeah, do compliment, like but like, like without Slim, Slim can still do something. Because he has. Okay, he wait, wait, wait. It's a bad comparison. I'm really <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it's that. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I thought they great. just started, like, come on. Sorry, they really get a name up there now. Before, when No Suburb was jumping, it was hard to, like, get him to, like, come out and do mm-hmm. stuff. So now, I guess he got a better team than before. Probably a better team. Really starting to see stuff pay off. Because I'm sorry. If I was a rapper, if I'm doing stuff and I'm not getting paid, I'm probably just clipped. <laughs> trial period. Not making it out. Not making out the trial period. <laughs> if, I'm not late, if I'm not late in six months. What? I'm ready. That's it? Yeah. That's it? Six months? People are getting famous while playing their songs, while playing video games. If I'm in the studio <laughs> putting in work, and nobody's bumping my shit, you it's really clearly don't not like meant to be. the fact that they came up like that. I just feel like there's real artists putting in real pain mm-hmm. to be famous, and these kids are getting lit for next to nothing. Again, I'm not going to front. I'm a hater. When it come to that, I, I, I don't know how to oh, do that. Oh, just up. that. Just that. Yeah, just that come up. I'm not hating on his success. Shout out to Lil Zeka, bro. Shout out you to You wasn't talking about nobody on YBN. Y- 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 That's how they came up. The entire well, YBN. Y- y- First of all, don't try to pull my card. But <laughs> him too. Fuck it. What's his name? Cordain? Namir? Jadir? What's their oh, names? No. She, she don't respect the video. <laughs> no, no, yeah. She don't respect the, 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 the uniqueness in it. I, it's I, creative though. I kind of like it. I I, I kind of like it. it it's yeah. It um it shows you know it's it's just a different. It's kind of like break, breaking the monotony a little bit. You know it's what I'm saying? Breaking into a different niche, a niche that probably would more than likely not listen to your music. If you're playing a game like Fortnite and you spit bars over a Fortnite server, where it's like a hundred heads <laughs> in every server in every game, like they're listening. It's like, pretty cool. It's it's pretty cool to me. It's pretty. Right and there. get rich or die trying with like 50 by the Benz or the car, you feel me? Right. You guys demo tape. I like that. Nah, that's a fact. Like, you Yo, really that's a fact. Nobody else is doing demos, bro. You feel me? And you waiting for the nigga, the nigga like, that's your car. <laughs> you driving now. You must oh. be into it. Now you bumping this shit. Right. Now you take it to it even more. Like, like Now, but the, the, difference, the difference in the two, I can say, is, um, you know, from that era to this era, they were they they more are. I would say that that era was more respected. Number one, mm-hmm. and uh, you know it it they they more so. What's the word I'm looking for? Like it's not like an overnight success. So like mm-hmm. you know what I mean? You 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 you, 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 you had to work for it. You get what I'm saying? So. It means it means something to you. You get what I'm saying? Like when I, you know, throw my blue check back in there again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't just and I and, and I'm having my conversation with my friends like here and there, or whatever. Because one of my other friends, he actually just got it this like the same day or two days after, or whatever. And um, he um and and we haven't really we haven't been doing anything for a while. Like we was doing music together for a while, and then we haven't. And then he hit me and was like, "Yeah, I feel the same way." I'm like, I "Feel the same way?" He was like, "Yeah, I got my blue check." I'm like, "Oh shit," you know and the difference with him is his name is Life Dutchie, right? So he's with he's running with Stolly. So the difference with him and Stolly from um MMG? from MMG, uh, right? Uh, so you know he's running with him, and then so I looked at everybody, all of my associates and friends who have blue checks, mm-hmm. and um I looked at myself and I said, okay, the difference between me and them, and I told him to his face, I was like, you know, you're, you're with Stally, so it makes sense for them to give you a blue check now, you get what I'm saying? Um, my boy Punch, he was with, you know, 6 9 and all these other people, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, know, you got, you know, boys, that was episode one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you got, um, <laughs> you know, any most of these people, they are, they got their blue checks for either being signed to a label, or associated with someone, you get what I'm saying? So for myself to be just by myself, I'm not signed to a label, I'm just out here, you get what I'm saying, is like, it hits different, you get what I'm saying, hit a bit different 
and I'm like real proud of myself. Like, yeah, yeah now nah, you definitely doing your thing because you know it's not every day some you know you just get verified just because you, you just did. you know what I'm saying that's doing why your thing. Instagram has that effect because I feel like in a time where everything is just so popcorn, it's right. like, Now nah, this what you gonna earn this. Right. I know people that be fiending for that blue check nah, when they fact. get it. They throw parties. They have photo shoots. They it's a big deal because right. you really gotta put in work for it. Right. Yeah. So yeah. So you know that to like just Luke piggyback. Tucker, shut up. Yeah, <laughs> just to, just to piggyback on that, um, you know, if 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 you was doing your thing, it's 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 way more, you know, you feel it, like you know what I'm saying, opposed to somebody who just popped overnight. Right. You know, I watch like the YBN guys, like I like the, I can't pronounce his name, Namir, Namir. Namir. I, I I liked him at first, like I really liked him, I don't know but what he's doing yeah, yeah, like you, with the braids, that was the that was the one who actually came out the gate. Yeah, that's the one who came, came out the gate is Namir. Namir, Namir you know. Rub it on the paint. Like, that was my shit. I was like, yo, yeah, yeah, I really like this record. Right. Right. I think I did, yeah, I did a freestyle to it and all that. <laughs> it wound up turning into a, a, a actual record. I switched the beat and okay. turned into a, yeah, I, you know, got mad streams off it and all that. I was like, wow, you know, boy was doing his thing. But, um, I don't see anything from him anymore. I was like, yo, what the hell? What, what happened? I think it's because YBN, um, because the, they don't write their music. It's Corday. It's like the the one who got who got. Yeah, I know Corday. He do. He said. I think he has said like he write most of all YBN's music. Like that group. Wow. Yeah. He, he, he's pulling on. Um, don't yeah. quote shit. If you really? Don't know shit. Okay. We, we can look it up afterwards and okay. then cut this out when when I was wrong, if I'm wrong. Okay. But he um <laughs> he he is his time now. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Think about that. Right. Out to him First, out the gate, as you said, Namir came. Right after Namir was um. YBN, the the, the, the J, oh mighty J, yeah. Who got beat up? Who got? He didn't get beat up. He got. Fucked <laughs> he didn't get fucked up in the city or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. He made a comeback. We should put him on that. Who made a comeback? I'm on it. By Dayton Dream Doll. That's not. Yeah, a comeback. that's not a comeback. <laughs> she just was wrong with the star and everything. See, he then he had his tongue. We don't know. He went to blood. I know. You ain't come back. That's not a My comeback. <laughs> 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 Black China is your comeback. Black China is your comeback. <laughs> 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 yeah, nah. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Only man I know who fell off, dated China, and came back is Tiger. And even then, that's a his, fact. Like even then, people still debate like his music not that good. It's not. He just whoa, tapped whoa, into whoa. a sound. Oh, he did not tap into a sound. Tiger. He created the sound that we're listening to. Yeah, now. definitely. That new record like he had is fire. Which one? That, that little space. You know? I like that shit. Oh, I, I was just I was listening to that just now on, on the way here. Like that's that's my shit. I like that record. Like, Rack City? like nah. Like, I like Rack City. We have to we have to sit here and literally give Tiger the credit he deserves. Right. right. If it was not if it wasn't for well like, um, done one to four one eighty seven. I mean, okay, sure, but that that was okay, a whole sure. controversy. I was like, you need to relax. He appeals to a different crowd naturally, like he his dated. Right. A, a, okay, you know, you got that. Crowd. But the sounds we hear now. And that, he just has that rappers? Cali shit. I'm sorry, I'm not from Cali, so I don't like that bounce. I'm not, oh, that, and yeah, I feel like everything sounds Black City consistent. Was bounce as fuck, bro. I don't like. I don't. I feel like everything sounds the same. I feel like when he has creative block, he calls Chris Brown and they get in the studio, make a record, wow. and now he's back number one. You know, like, I just feel like it's very. And I just told you last week, no, it didn't work like that. They, they, they linked up on Fan of the Fan mixtape, dropped nothing but heat, then they linked up for the album, and then they just I dropped the poopy. It no, but pumping. they made a good song on the Cali Wave. Ayo. Ayo. Yeah. That was Tiger. Yeah. Well, he dropped the hit after that, Taste. Oh. Taste. Taste. Yeah, Taste. Yeah, that that video, a... too? Bro, that, is, that man knows what he's doing. Yeah. Oh, he did. they all sound the same, though. No, no. Nah, you don't think they don't got that, you know that? It has a it has a it has a sound. It has it has a sound, but I feel like a lot of these you know these southern artists they all sound the same. 